Hi folks, Dave, the Honest Audiophile, and these are my impressions of the AKG K371. It's a very portable, small, lightweight headphone that I truly enjoy the comfort of. I can wear them for long extended periods. They do a decent job with isolation of outside noises, especially for office work or for some uh, public transit, things like that. They do a very good job in that regard. Come with three different cable options. You get a small short cable, a long 10 foot cable, and then a coiled long cable also. So you get three options. And uh, overall, I, I enjoy them. I, I don't have any issues with the fit, the comfort, nice and lightweight portable sound wise so the bass is heavy hitting it's kind of over exaggerated and the upper bass bleeds into the lower mids just a little bit adding in a little bit of body to it the upper mids are exaggerated a tad too much for my preference and they don't go in but they don't go into aggressive mode the lower treble is energetic but it comes away without being fatiguing so for the most part it's a non-fatiguing very uh, pleasant sound soundstage is okay for a close back but lacks some depth layering uh, can get confused on busier and thicker tracks so overall to summarize it the AKG K371 is a fun bass energetic lower treble that is presented in a non-fatiguing way with a decent soundstage here's the problem it is tuned to the Harman target curve and is considered to be a professional studio reference headphone. Uh, no. And here are the reasons for it. The bass is way too much and it lacks refinement. It gets slushy and muddy way too often. The mids lack the main area, which is the core of music reproduction of what we actually hear and it sounds recessed thin and hollow the treble is rolled off and it lacks extension and air detail retrievable is laughable it is laughable for a professional studio reference and the resolution is lackluster throughout except for in the bass the akg K371 doesn't deserve to have any of the following words associated with it. Natural, accurate, reference, studio, professional, or neutral. None of those should be associated with the K371. The AKG K371 should never enter a studio for work. The K371 should only be allowed in a studio to listen to tunes while you're on lunch break or while you're waiting for your session to begin. But as soon as work begins, these should not be on your head. Uh, the AKG K371 is a non-fatiguing, fun bass head headphone that is for casual listening only. It, the AKG K371 is not for critical listening. Not for critical listening. The AKG K371, if you care at all about detail retrieval and resolution, if you care at all about sound quality, if you care anything about mids, stay clear of the AKG K371. And for the love of all who listen to your mixes, do not use the AKG K371 in a studio ever. If you're looking for a fun headphone that is non-offensive for everyday carry, then the K371 is a good option. But if you care a small bit about details, retrieval, resolution, tone, timbre, mids, then I recommend you look elsewhere for your everyday carry headphone. If you want the best example of why I say that the Harman target curve is not neutral, natural, accurate, then give the AKG K371 a listen. I don't recommend them unless you're just going to use them for a headphone to stick on your head to block out everything else and just to have music in the background while you work. It's been Dave, the Honest Audiophile. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.